What happens if I give my assets away for purposes of qualifying for Medicaid? Well, it will most likely result in ineligibility for Medicaid benefits for some period of time, but not forever. That period of time is determined by dividing the average cost of a nursing home care in the state by the amount of money that was given away accumulated over the last 60 months or five years. So we use a five-year look back and look at all gifts made within that prior five years, add them together, and divide it by the state Medicaid divisor. In Mississippi, that divisor is $5,700. So giving away assets for purpose of qualifying for Medicaid will result in ineligibility of the amount given away divided by $5,700. It doesn't mean you can't give the assets away. What it means is that there's a cost for doing it. If the cost of doing it winds up being less than actually retaining those assets and being completely ineligible for Medicaid for a longer period of time, then it still makes sense to make those transfers. It's simply a matter of math. It's simply a matter of, of what, the way that Congress set out for that, that penalty to be calculated. There's no prohibition at all from giving away assets to qualify, but there is an ineligibility penalty that results from it.